was, you know, like we get the question all the time, you know, how, what was your healing timeline like? Because people yes. are, people are suffering out there with, with different symptoms and conditions. And they, I know when I was sick, that was something I always looked for was, okay, this guy's got all my symptoms. He's got all the same conditions, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and he got better in two years. So in my mind, I was always thinking, okay, I, I'll feel better in two years because this guy was dealing with all the same stuff and he, he got better, not taking into account that everybody's toxic load And their very ancestral much... load coming into this. We just don't Correct. know. Some family may not have had all that toxicity that guy, like I know I do. But I have what I have. So, so with like your healing timeline with ALS, when when would you say after you know you you went strictly on medical medium and you did that for so much time when did you feel like you were kind of getting back on that right track and getting your life back within three years within three years okay. and just recently the last three years i've had this thing crop up in the hip area which i don't want to say it's a hip because it's a whole i know it's even in the um, ileocecal valve because even when I was training for the Olympics, there were times where it'd be like, uh, it would be debilitating. It's like, I'd have this pain in that area. And I know this whole right side is totally been affected from the, sh the shingle virus. So it's not like I'm, I, I, it's like an onion. It's like, and like I said, um, Ben, if I didn't have his work and also the postural alignment with the gastro, I, I don't know where I'd be. I really don't, it, it got me through. And it even got me through the time that I didn't know what was going on with my body, mm -hmm. the posture stuff. So it kept me moving because it's not just posture. It's where my organs sitting in my frame of my body, like for instance, on the call that I said, okay, where are my lungs sitting? You know, are they collapsed forward or are they out? You know, same with the, where's the, the bladder and the uter in the, in the pelvic cavity. So I have, you know, a lot of, I, I didn't know it was shingle, but you know, vaginal area um, all of my life. And that stuff is going away, like the inflammation and whatnot. Of course, I didn't have the burning and itching like he talked about with women, but I had more of the inflammation. And then, the, you know, after giving birth to my son, I had a, um, they call it a cystocele, but now I know it's the uterine prolapse, but you know, I'm ebbing and flowing with that and it's actually going away. So that's a huge sign, yeah. huge, huge sign. And I know it's a lot of information to share, but it's like, I'm telling you this because it's so true that if you give your body the stuff that it needs to heal at a cellular level and the tissue level, and you take these viruses out that are doing the damage, you're going to repair 100%. So it's yeah. ebbing and a flowing. Yeah. yeah. But for those people out there watching this, you know, it's important to know that everybody's healing timeline is going to be different right lynn yes he might have healed in like three years but even after she healed after three years yep. she was still That's dealing right. with little flare-ups and little things that would would happen here and there it wasn't yep. you know like a, a three years and she was right back to where she was before sure. that you might be dealing with als but you might also have a lineage of metals and viruses and radiation and ddt and that toxic load might be heavier than what Lynn is dealing with. Yes, I hope right? we get that so. message across to people. And it's not, it's just, so you don't go into these fears and that you're not healing, because you are, you are healing big time. I mean, just this mother who's in the, she can't get out of bed. She's got a feeding tube. She cannot move. She's actually sneezing for the first time and, and now ebbing flowing with the um, bowel movements that she never had. No, and she's showing little signs here and she's on these protocols and it's working. It just, yeah. it's an ebbing and a flowing and you know, I, okay, so I come into this later in my 40s because I was looking for seven years, you know, I was almost 50. I can't expect my body to turn around in a couple days, you know, it's just, yep. yeah, and if it did, great, you know, but I just know that it's, I, I love it because Pete would say pain is inevitable but suffering is optional. So yeah, you have these things come up, but now you know what to do with them. And I do know that when these, like, like I'll be walking down the street and I'll have a little bit of vertigo and I'm like, oh, so you're rearing your ugly head, little virus, going past the vagus nerve. 
And I kind of laugh at it and say, well, you're not staying because you know what, you don't, you don't belong in this body, so see you later. And within moments, it goes away. So I don't go into fear like, oh, I'm backpedaling here. And things come up. I've never ever had, like, I've never been sick, like down in bed or whatever for the whole time that I've been, you know, doing that and stuff. You know, all this stuff that's yeah. going on in the world today. You know, people around me are like sick left and right. I mean, I have a, you know, his husband that works in the ER, you know, he comes home with stuff. It's like, it doesn't touch me. But I'm around the yeah. clock doing this stuff three times a day or more. Yeah. I feel any always, flame, always, throat, zinc, always right protecting throat. myself. Always protecting myself. Yeah. Because yeah. I know that whatever is in store for me in the future, I'm here to help as much as I can. So when you, so um, during that timeline, you were using medical mediums information to heal. Did you just go straight? I mean, were you like super strict? Because I know like with his books, right? We did, we learned stuff over time, right? So like the, the, that first book, book went through certain things, but didn't really deep dive into the idea that uh, we should be lowering the toxic load in our liver, right? And we'll heal quicker, yeah. sort of thing. He didn't really have that morning cleanse out where we knew not to consume a whole lot of stuff, fats in the morning. It was, and then eventually he, he like put out, you know, that whole idea that you should eliminate fats <laughs> in, you know, no fats, no salt, you know, stuff yeah. like that, which weren't in his earlier books were you i know now you are very strict on everything, i i was back then. and the love i'm so grateful i don't know how but i just knew i i strictly again all my life fat is fat the fat is fat you know and i never we never gave ivs with fat in it you know why would you you know we need glucose anyway i, I did have that in my mindset so i was strict in that and I knew, you know, okay. then when the books came out, the 28 day cleanse, and I, I, I'd already done a lot of fruits and vegetables, you know, I would do maybe a little bit of coconut milk with some of his recipes and a little bit of olive oil with some of his recipes, but I would still, I mean, I'd eat tons of watermelon. Of course, I've always loved watermelon, even as a kid. So that was probably saving my, my life. And it was interesting. I said to my mom the other day, because his banana podcast came out and I sent it to her and I said, you know, mom, I said, when you would come home from work when I was growing up. She was crawling because she has a Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And, well, we know what that is, third stage Epstein-Barr. But she would come home dragging, and she'd grab her, her pat, pile of bananas and eat, like, six bananas and go right to bed. And I said, those really saved your life. They really did. And to this day, she'll wow. never not stop eating a banana. She's always been a banana eater. So, yeah. So, yeah, I've just... So you were pretty... I don't know. Intuitively, I, I knew, and I just stuck to what he said to me. You know, the lemon water I was doing, you know, and then when the books came out, I was doing the celery juice and I got the five ingredients for the heavy metal detox in me. I didn't actually make the smoothie, but I would get those five ingredients in me every single day. When I travel, I would take everything with me. So, yeah, I just, I knew no fat and I, I, I was eating a little bit of salt then and all my life I consumed a lot of salt in the, in the real, I mean, the good salt, but now I don't put any salt in my body at all because I don't need it. I don't, and now if I were to put salt on my food, it'd be like, oh my gosh, it'd be so powerful. I don't even crave <laughs> it. So that tells me that my I'm balancing out with the micro, I mean the um, mineral cluster salts and whatnot. So getting those adrenals. Another thing that really helped heal is keeping food in my system. At first when I started this, it, I had to eat every 30 minutes. And not a huge meal, but something went into my body every 30 minutes. And then after, as I started to get stronger in my adrenals and whatnot, then I would go up to an hour and a half to two hours. And I don't go, to this day, I don't go past that. So when I'm out hiking, I always have snacks in the car. I have them in my backpack. I just, it, it's major, major key for healing is keeping that, that consistent um, level of glucose in your bloodstream for healing so that your adrenals don't kick in and, and then push out into your bloodstream and then the viruses go for that adrenaline. So huge huge yeah especially huge. early on because yes. you're 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 transitioning yes. from a high fat american diet to yeah. um eating eating yeah. low fat right. and so you gotta you gotta eat more right. of those adrenal snacks throughout the day which you, your body's not used to so 
you know, no, back if you don't feed it the right way. Right. I would never go to restaurants. I, if I would, I would take my own food even when I was training. That's just how I was, you know. And I maybe would get a salad or a fruit, but even today, there's be no way I would eat out because now I know what could be getting in your food, you know. So um, even back then, I would really limit what I was putting in my body. And, and I'd still go to the restaurants with my family, but I just wouldn't eat. And I'd just take a tea yeah. bag and from home and ask for a cup of hot water or whatever. Or I'd, I'd even take my own tea cup or whatever. I mean, they'd never say anything. I just, well, if you want me yeah. there and you want my company, I'm going to sit there and, you know, I never, they never would ever say anything to me because they knew how strong I was. They just, when, they just wouldn't say anything. Because I know a lot yeah. of people get that from their family members. Like, she's crazy and blah, blah, blah. But they knew. They weren't going to tell me anything. So, that's just who I am. That's why I'm doing yeah. what I'm doing. So, living yeah. the truth. On many levels. Yeah. Right? Yeah, many levels. Yes. Yes. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> starting to learn all the levels and getting deeper and deeper mm -hmm. and learning more as I go. Yes. Very thankful for uh, you teaching me a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Well, when you ask God for the truth, and I just I remember at one point I said, we can slow down just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? You know, because I kept, you know, things were coming at me on more levels than what I could ever imagine, but that's okay. I'm medical yeah. medium approved, so my adrenals are in check. And another thing <laughs> I wanted to add is, yes, I know that, you know, I because of the truths that I know, the emotional component does come in because now I see the truth of what has happened. And I've seen a lot of death in my, my years of many souls that have passed including my family members and now that I know what it is so I've had to really dig deep and, and find that forgiveness piece and also keeping a light heart a lot but if I do have a tear I don't get wigged out about it because I have glucose in my body and I tell my adrenals I have to I have to release this I, I just and this is happens usually when I'm in the forest every day with my no, I, I do occasionally have a tear or two, but it's not anything great. But again, I just talk to my adrenals and say, you're okay. I'm okay. I just need to process this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just wanted to add that because I know that that yeah, is it's not, it, it, it's not a bad thing to let that stuff out. Yeah, if you have I to. I think at times you kind of need to let that out because after you do let it out, you feel a, a calmness and a, that could be partially because the adrenaline that's that's coming yeah. from that but yeah you know it's, it's okay to get emotional you know you're going through yeah when you're going through a lot like that it's it's hard to hold it in yeah and seriously when you you seek the path that i have and you witness some of the things that are beyond what you'd ever ever think was going on in this planet and i was in a career where i thought you know we're all taking care of one another right no you realize that this is not so on this planet and it's it can be deceiving so but i have what, what yeah. i have what i'm working with and i will help as best i can so and i'm going to continue to do what i'm doing till my last breath and yeah. just anything yeah. well that's that the planet. idea with what was that i was going to say well that's the idea with you know you sharing your story like this i i, I think it's important for people to hear this and understand your story because like we've talked about before there's a lot of ALS diagnoses I that know. are that are coming so yes, I know there are and remember it's a fancy word for three viruses that spew out toxins and they go to the nerves and and you know there's a lot of heavy metal involved and in, in ever through the lineages we just have to pull these metals out you know and I never experienced that black tongue that Anthony talks about. And I just recently had that in the last couple of months. And it's amazing because you know that you know, when you stay on this strictly, that things are really coming out. And, of course, you and tell that. people what the black tongue is if, if they don't know. Well, it's just in the back of your tongue. It could be a, a bunch of the blackness that's coming, like the metals are coming out of your body. If you're doing the pro protocols on his realm, you know, very strictly, that can be the sign. And he did a podcast on it. So you could look at it or not a podcast it was a newsletter right on a sunday 
I think he talked about it. Uh, he did like a live and just talked about yep. it on one of. Yep, the, he did a. It was a lives. seven minute, like seven or eight minute podcast on his newsletter too. Yeah, it was quick. Yeah, but yep. um. So it's a good sign. There you go. And feed the <laughs> cells what what the what the body needs, and you know God gave us these foods. I mean, when you grow your own garden now, like a tomato or a cucumber or whatever, just look at. Like even open up a kiwi and look at the inside of a kiwi. It's like, wow, it's amazing. Or I mean, I just I've been getting fresh dragon fruits lately because I usually use those um, packets. I've been taking the liver rescue smoothie since the book came out. Liver rescue, never missed a day. Even when I travel, I would take everything with me. So, but the dragon fruit. I mean, look at that thing. Look at how in intricately designed it's it's made. It's like amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I even. I even find interesting, uh, like you look at a placenta. Yes. What does a placenta look like? It it, it actually has looks like the tree of life. It does. You know, there's roots that kind of travel along with with it. You look at like your 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 lungs. Your lungs look like tree branches. Your um, your veins they look like the leaves on a on a tree. Right. You know, we we are of the earth we are created from yeah. this earth and we have qualities of this earth embedded in us that people just aren't aren't aware of and that will that will have to come back it, it has to in order to sustain life we will all have to come back to the roots i, I see that now and um, yeah. you know i garden when i was growing up I, of course i didn't see the profundity of it because i was a kid and it was hot and humid in the midwest and you know but we did it but now i see actually the profundity of it and why it's so important that we grow our own gardens and all the things that the like just on my deck alone i have 17 tomato plants you know and like i was telling you earlier they're growing wildly and it's like i'm looking at others because we had a horrible spring here up in northern idaho so people are suffering with their crops and mine aren't but i'm doing the things that you suggested and i'm talking to my plants and i'm knowing that there's a connection there and telling them that this is a food source that can help many people, if need be. So you can do it on a deck, even even cucumbers. I mean, they have, your your deck has rungs on it. You can put a little bamboo uh, stick or whatever, and then Velcro the little the um, cucumber plant as it grows, so it has a little trellis, so to speak. Yep. Yep. It's pretty cool. Let me see it. Yeah, it's important to to grow your own food. You know, we know that, and I think yeah. as time goes on it will become even more and more important to be able to yes. produce your own food save your own seeds and yes. produce your own medicines right yes. so oh i wanted um, to add one more thing always ask questions he yep. taught me i mean I, i've always asked questions but he really honed in on the socratic method of thinking asking questions why when who where all of it because when you start asking questions on everything on all levels you really start to open up to, okay, what's really going on here? And you start to get your own truths in your life. And so that's been a huge piece for me and to help others see that. Now, why is the body doing it on this side, but it doesn't do it on this side, you know what I mean? I would, and I asked those questions when those things were happening to me, but I guess it took till 2007 to actually have a crash to actually go, okay, I really have to figure this out. And so I, asking well, questions is, is I think what leads a lot of people to medical medium in the first place, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. If you just buy, if you just buy into what your doctors are telling you and don't ask questions, then you're just going to go down that path of never healing and just be getting sicker and sicker and sicker. Right. The medical medium community is all about asking questions because that's how you're getting to the truth. The people that are following medical medium and just don't want to give up and don't believe the story that they're being fed right. that is that is what's drawing them to medical media which is so much of the truth yeah. right the truth you're not hearing from conventional medicine you're hearing it from medical media and right. you're doing you know you're doing these techniques and you're healing and there's there's millions of people healing from his information now yep and you don't see yep. doctors with instagram accounts showing results of the 
pharmaceuticals that they're being subscri prescribed. Yeah. And I'll, you know, that's I, just not happening. I got it world. too. All the presentations, I'd lose people big time. Oh, he listens to you know where his source was and whatnot. And I'm like, well, you can't deny this. I mean, my body is healing. It's healed. I mean, other people, not heal, but I mean, you know what I mean? It's to the where I can actually function. And you know, look at his Instagram stories. I mean, this is a source from above that's you know giving us the total answers. So mm -hmm. I just I'm staying to this very very much. So this is. Like I said, the only way, because yep. it's yeah. They'll say, well, where's your research? You know, okay, is that research and science helping you? And they may not stick with it, but it's like okay, maybe somewhere along the line, you're gonna have that in the back of your mind, and you're gonna come back to it if you need be. You know, it's the other yeah. things that you decide to do, and I tell them the industries. There's a lot of them are out there for your your good, like even the water machines. You know, so. Yeah, I love what Anthony says about the when when people ask him about uh, about you know where's his science, where's his research proving that right. his information is helping. Right. His response to that is, well, why are there so many people sick right now? Why why are there so many people out there struggling and don't have the answers right. from science and research? Right. And this I is love where it. we are today. The viruses don't exist. I just that gets me to my inner core when I hear that. Oh, really? You're denying that there are people on their deathbed and that they've like passed away, and and you can't deny that there there is something wrong because people are sick. You know, we're not supposed to, supposed to be sick. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, I really appreciate you spending oh, the time, kind of walking so us much. through your story. I. I I really think it's it's going to go a uh, go the distance for for people that are struggling out there with ALS or symptoms of ALS. Yeah, and even MS um, and Guillain so, yeah, Barre and Parkinson, all of it. It's all intertwined. You just, just they just have these one little virus that's a little different than the other virus, and it's you know whatever metals you have in your body and whatever it's fueling off of, you make these you know whatever diagnoses that we get. You know that. Again, a fancy word like we really don't know why this is happening, but we think your body's attacking itself, but it's not. So we know what it yeah. is now. And yeah. just knowing that alone, what's going on in your body through medical medium, like Anthony says, you've already begun healing. <laughs>